Let's take a look at some of the STL recreation capabilities in SpaceClaim. Oftentimes when you open up a mesh file, the orientation doesn't come in exactly as you would expect. That's why the Orient Mesh tool exists. It will look for prismatic faces along STL files and instantly align your model to the world coordinate system. Now if I look straight down on an axis, you'll see that my position is relatively close or very close to the world coordinate system. Now with that taken care of, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, how to take some of these facets and turn it into solid geometry. You know, SpaceClaim is great about selection. That's one of the cornerstones or the pillars of the software. Whether you're box selecting or whether you decide to paint select, it's very easy to grab a number of facets all at once and then use those to create geometry. Now one way we now let you create geometry is to say, let's go ahead and assign prismatic surface to that, namely a cylinder, and instantly the geometry is formed. Now you might be wondering, why on earth is he creating geometry that doesn't actually exist? Well, it's simple. I'm going to create the negative of this part, or just a section of it, and eventually remove that away from the solid block I'm about to create. Now speaking of that solid block, one of the best ways to do that is to go into a cross-section mode and start utilizing the curve that SpaceClaim automatically generates for you. Now I should note that my goal is not to recreate this entire model in the short time I have here, but rather just to give you a flavor of the different tools that SpaceClaim employs uh, for turning this into solid data. Now let's take those edges and start to join them together with a handy extend tool, and this will start to form uh, a perimeter. With that solid, with that surface body created, we'll turn this into a solid body just by pulling on it. And not just pulling on it to arbitrary locations, but actually snapping it up to facets on the solid or on the STL file. Now, with that solid created, I think one of the, the great things about SpaceClaim is also visualization. I like to change colors, I like to change transparency. It's very easy to do that. Now it doesn't stop there. I need to start chopping away material from that orange block using the green one I did and the combine tool does that for me automatically. Last thing I might want to do is start pulling on facets or pulling on edges until they extend up to facets. And what we've done to speed up that process is pull, put this up to tool in a sticky mode. So now the order of operations is very simple. It just consists of grabbing an edge or a face and then snapping up to a given facet that you want. You can select those all day long and quickly create rounds amongst edges anywhere you want and snap faces up to the proper facets anywhere you want as well. So I hope that gives you a great idea of some of the fast creation techniques in SpaceClaim starting from an STL file. Thanks a lot for watching.